There he is. There he is. Oh! There you go. Oh, he went under. He went under. Oh, get him, Gabe. Get him, Gabe. Get him, boy, Gabe. He's still hooked up. What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. We're fishing with bread balls. We got Joey Slam. What do you do, baby? We got Bailey. So, we're, so we're down south catching cichlids. I want to try to catch all four species of these rare cichlids that only live down here That's in the countries where they really come from. So watch this. Look at this! Oh, white one! Oh, white one! You white one! Oh, wow! I need that one. Can we, can we take that one home? Yeah! Look at this one! Oh, Hold on, Gabe. Okay, we have to make sure that we You guys, check, check this out! Yeah. yeah, we throw them back. Look at that! They're so pretty. Look at that. Holy mackerel, that's the prettiest thing I've ever seen! It's beautiful. Look, Look at, at that. that. Wow. Dude. Where do they come from? Like what country? I'm honestly, they're just cichlids for pretty much from the Amazon and stuff like that. So then they just interbreed with each other and they make these type of colors right here. They're Holy usually really, mackerel. it's like a combination between a red devil and other types of aggressive cichlids down here. Right, let me Miami. get a picture of him real quick up here. Check it out. So Joey's in, you guys check his channel out. Joey's into all these exotic fish. He's got big ponds in his house. These fish can never leave his house so he's not gonna contaminate the waters. Bro, He'll always have this in my life. I have a very, very special catfish, and he's just like, just as white as that. And I caught a peacock bass. Oh, you're right here, my bad. And we caught a peacock bass before, just like that color. And dude, hold on, Gabe. We gotta name this thing Gabe after you, dude. Blue Gabe. Blue Gabe, it's blue Gabe. blue Gabe. White Gabe, what you mean? White Gabe, but he, we're gonna call him Blue, blue. Gabe. <laughs> there is some blue right there. He has blue. Let's show him the spot of tilapia, though. So you guys, we checked out two species in one spot. Look at that thing, though. Boom, boom, boom. You wanna catch an orange one though? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, so as you can see, Gabe is chumming up the waters. We're gonna have some cool underwater footage right now. That dog is flared up because we're, we're honestly supposed to be six feet apart. That's why he's yelling at us. So hold on. We just gotta stay over here. Hey, we gotta put our blue gate buffs on. Yeah, we have to get some blue gate buffs on. Hold on. Uh oh, she got She's one? tight. She's on. What do we got? Get him up. Get him up. Oh, no, Bailey. What happened here? Peacock just swam into the bunch. Really? Peacock bass. Dude, it is flared up. Get out there. Nice cast, Joey. <laughs> You're looking good, bro. Um, but guys, the choice of bread right now is butter bread. You know what it is and what we do it for. And uh, we got to get you rigged up. What happened? Got him. Got him. An orange one. Oh, yes. An orange one. You guys, check this thing out. That thing is awesome. Look at that. That's been my number one targeted fish for a long time and Mr. Joey Slayum just added it to my list. Now it's Bailey's turn and then we're gonna go and leave here and get after the next species on our list. Watch this. Dude, there's a beautiful yellow one right here. Oh, yellow one? Come on, come around. There he is. There he is. Oh! He got the yellow one. He got the yellow one. Oh, it's like Look at the head on that thing. Guys, look at that thing. That. Hold on. Look at his brain. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what? That thing is huge, dude. This is epic. Look at that. See, you see what I'm talking about, guys? You're using small little hooks right here. Nice eight pound test. This is actually 15 plural. This is Gabe's, uh, what is it? Favorite rods you got going on here? Is that what it is? Yeah, favorite rods. So we're going to get this guy. Gabe, what do you want to, you want this guy right here? I think we eat that one. This guy's always trying to eat these things, but I understand, bro. Hunger gets what hunger wants, dude. You guys, <laughs> we got to eat. We're in like a crisis right yeah, now. The dude, grocery yeah, stores are out of food. We got to eat. Survival. Survival. I'll turn mine loose uh -huh. and we'll keep that one. Perfect. Let's do it. But hold on. Take a moment. Look at this. Ah. He's peeing. He's peeing right here. Hold on. See Stop. that? Drink it. Oh my God. Hold on. <laughs> oh, it doesn't taste so bad. <laughs> Pretty hydrating, it's like coconut water. Yeah. All right, come on, Bailey, what you doing? You watching this play or what? That is without a doubt the weirdest fish I've ever caught. That is a strange, strange species right there. All right, let's go. Look, he's still going. Mm. Come on, yeah. All right, y'all, so we've moved locations from where we caught the awesome Midas cichlids. We're gonna try to catch some peacocks on this crappie jig. Let's see if we can go do it. Looking at it. Oh! Oh, he's gonna eat. We're gonna catch it. We're definitely catching it. Oh, we got a little crappie jig right here. We got some blue gabe action. Come on, blue gabe. Working that crappie jig right off the bottom. 
Those peacocks are super flared, ready to go. It's all in the flick of the wrist, all day long. There he is, there he is. Oh, there you go. Oh, he went under, he went under. Okay, okay, get him, get him, get him, boy, game. He's still hooked up, game, all the way down. Nice jump. That's what I'm talking about. Blue game, baby. Joey Slam Charters, Charters 599. Comes with fun lady as well. Huh? Can't find my phone. Hmm. Okay, we got the fish we're landing hey. this. Where'd it go? What, 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 what about that? What, 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 what about that? That was sick, dude. That's what I'm talking about right there. You need a little help? Come on. You <laughs> said you don't need help, Gabe. Gabe. I got it. Gabe. Gabe. Yo, that was sick. Let me, let me get it there. Look at that. Off the bed on a copy rig on a little favorite ultralight. Big shout out, favorite rod USA. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Just look, 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 look. Ah. Uh. Hey, check out that new blue gate shirt. Though. Hey, what's up, dude? Y'all see that new PG logo? Yep, yep. Go ahead, release that guy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh no. no! You got him right there. See you, buddy. There you go. Nice, healthy. No, release. no, watch this, though. Watch this. Watch no. this. Yeah. How about that landing, though, slip, fall, one handed under the pipe? I'm telling yeah. you, bro. Watch Not this. bad. Watch this. Watch this. Watch Let's this. see it. Come on. Let's see what you got here, dude. Oh! Another one. Nice one, Gabe. Flipper die. Flip 75. Die. Nice, dude. Look how pretty. What? All right, y'all. So these were these were bedding bedding fish. This is the female. Obviously, the bigger male. Which I think in largemouth the female is normally bigger. But I think in peacocks the male is normally bigger. Nice. How about you say, let's just go get after a jaguar. What do you say? Let's do it, bro. We're after a jaguar cichlid, y'all. <laughs> We're after a jaguar cichlid, y'all. We'll see you in a second. Two of them. Now I'm gonna go get a beetle spin because there's a bunch of the Mayan cichlids here and I wanna see if I can catch them on that. All right, y'all, we put the beetle spin on. Let's see what we can catch, though. Oh, oh. Oh, they're chasing it. We gotta get them fired up though. Let's go way out there. They might not eat the beetle spin as good. They were definitely attacking that crappie jig. Oh, oh, they were just drilling it though. Got him. And right just like that, we've got the third species or fourth, fourth, fourth species of the day. The Mayan cichlid. That's probably the most common one. Let me see if I can catch another one though. Jaguar, big one, grab the camera. Big Jaguar, yes. Oh, big wire. This is like my, pretty much my most favorite fish I've ever, I'm coming with him, I'm coming with him. Yeah. I got him. Yes. That's a nice one. Yeah, ow. Look at the teeth he's got though. Oh my God. Look at those teeth. Food like that dude. Dude, can we take him and put him in a tank or no? Yeah, why put not? Him in my you have a cooler in your tank? Yeah, I have a cooler. We're good You to guys, go. look at that. He already made me bleed. Oh, oh. Hold him down. No, no. No, Gabe, no. Oh, my face. Gabe. All right, I'm going to put him in a cooler. We'll show you all this fish in a minute. Wait, follow you? All right, y'all. We're back at Mr. Joey Slayham's right, house. Now, listen, y'all. Y'all, look, 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 look. Be careful. That's the blue gate. Look at that. Y'all check out Joey's channel. I'll have everything in the link below, and Wait, you're gonna take see. Take a moment. Look at that. You can literally see the fillet. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he's like translucent. That's insane. Now look, 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 look right here. My first. Oh, oh, whoa. My first jaguar. Oh, he's strong. My first jaguar cichlid ever, and I caught him on the same beetle spin that we caught all those shell crackers on the other day. And then we got these nice little beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. look at that one. Right there. Ooh, let's look at this one. Oh. Ow, this one's strong. Big bucket right there, dude. All right, y'all, you saw me catch that white one. I caught it. But Mr. Joey and I decided to make a trade because look, 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 look here. Joey right here caught a look really, really big one. Look at that. Now, this one was gill hooked. So you know what? I said, Mr. Joey, let's trade. I traded him the live white one 
and I'm taking this one because we're going to eat him back at my house in Stewart, Florida. Is that air? Jiggle it a little bit. Wiggle it. 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 Just a little bit. <laughs> that, that Look at that. That's some cake to Ugh. it, dude. Look at that. Oh, some my God. <laughs> There's Anyhow, meat in there, bro. There's meat. Bailey, who's behind the camera, Mr. Joey VT, and myself are heading back to my house in Stewart, Florida, and we're going to show you all how that thing tastes. But not only are we doing that, we're taking the jaguar cichlid, one of the orange ones, and a spotted tilapia, and a spotted tilapia to deer meat for dinner's house to put him in his pond because he just restored it, got it all back going again, and they're going to live in there happily ever after. So we'll see y'all there. Thanks for watching, but don't go nowhere. Look who we have here. Look, look, look. Say hi, hi. to everybody. The wonderful deer mom. Look at, look, look at, look at that cutie. What's your name? What's your name? Luke. What's your name? Okay, I got the cold treatment. What's your name over there? Oh my gosh! I caught a frog. What? Anyhow, y'all, Robert and Sarah got the pond going again. During the house building stuff, they let it go. They didn't have time to keep up with it. And now I'm going to show Sarah her new fish. Come on, let's see what you it's got. That's a koi. Get it, open it. Is that a goldfish? Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful goldfish. What are the other two? You gotta get them out by, with your hand. That's a tilapia. No, I ain't touching that. Scoop them up like a dip net. Oh, that's, oh yeah, look it. I it, touched it. It's like a big goldfish. That wasn't the most like gentle release ever. Yes, it was. I threw them in the deep part. Watch out, he'll bite you bad. Yeah, well, come on. That's my buddy. All right, what are you gonna name all your fish? Um. There you go. All right, so this is a self-contained lake. These fish can't make it to any other bodies of water. They're perfectly good and they'll live to a ripe old age of however old they are when they die, right here. Now, Robert Deer Meat for Dinner's in there editing, and little does he know, he's about to cook this big Midas cichlid I brought over. We'll be right back. All right, well, like I said a minute ago, Deer Meat for Dinner's in here working. I'm about to go interrupt him. What up, dog? You gotta come out here and take a break for a minute. I'm almost done. Yeah, but, but we gotta cook. Well, if you let me finish what I'm doing, don't be showing people my messy desk either. Look at this, y'all. Thought he was all organized. You got 10 minutes. Hurry up. So we get a ton of comments about how easy we got it. And oh, you YouTubers are so lucky. And you guys, oh, I mean, y'all just must live the life. For us to go do a video, even a simple video, is pretty much 24 hours of work. Plus all the time and effort and money that we put into it to be able to do these things and not even to mention all the experience from years in the past of learning how to do it. So y'all, do we live a blessed life? Yes, but I can assure you we've worked for it and we still work for it. We work for it every day, hopefully just like you guys do to live the American dream. Look at that giant gator, 13-2. Have you ever seen one of those? I've never seen one. Look at that. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I've already done a cool wiggle, wiggle theme, wiggle, okay? Wiggle, you, wiggle. you can't already match my wiggle in it. Are you excited to eat him? No, come on, let's clean this thing real quick. He's gonna be good. We gotta show everybody what's in that big hump, though, after you get done oh, cleaning yeah. him. I was expecting to be really... Oh, let's... All fat. Dude, that'll be good. We should fry that up just like that. Negative. What do you mean negative? Gabe, that's probably high in cholesterol. Well, I give you three amazing non-native species for your pond. You just you owe it to me to eat it. I will not eat that. I heard these fish were amazing to eat. Well, meat looks good. How you plan on cooking it? Gabe, I, I, I didn't even think about this until you showed up five minutes ago. Well, sometimes I'm the younger brother. I get to start spitting out demands. What'd you do yesterday while I was filming this video? I was snakehead fishing. Thanks for the invite. 
Meanwhile, you've got orange fish. <laughs> and white. Look at that. Mm. So if you guys are confused on what's going on, I showed up to Deer Meat's house and said, you're cleaning and cooking my fish for me. Because I've got my good buddy Justin and his fiance from Indiana. They brought my new, yeah, I can't tell y'all yet. They brought it all the way from Ohio. They've been vaccinated. We've, we've soaked them in bleach and stuff so they're clean. Justin owns the farm that all my big whitetails have come from. Mine is just a few, but I've killed them. Couple huge ones at his farm in Indiana. This thing smells good. Yeah, they sort of compared it to like yellowtail and lane snapper. It looks to me like hogfish. Hey, no marital disputes over there. Okay, so got to give a shout out to my boy Seth McGinn, can cooker. This is one of his all purpose seasonings. You know what they say, if you put enough of this on there, it'll make anything taste good. There you go. Are we cooking it? Just a little saute? Simple, 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 man. We're gonna go simple. All right, well, while he's getting the fish ready, I gotta give a huge shout out to Joey Slayum. Y'all check his channel out. I'll have everything below. Dude's one of the nicest guys ever. Every time I call him, he's super nice. Super informative, ready to film with me anytime I'm ready to go. Y'all check out Joey Slayum. Now, got that butter going real nice. Take some ginger, put some ginger in there. Flavor it all on up there. Take your fish, just like that. Slide it right in that love potion. Just like that right there. Then, now, what are you going to do with the grapefruit juice? I'm going to add just a little bit of love and goodness to it, like that. Grapefruit juice. That's going to be a sweet and sour flavor. It's going to be nice. Mm. Y'all leave a comment below if you've ever heard of French Lake, Indiana. I met, that's where they're from. I met his grandma about eight years ago in a restaurant where she suckered me into believing that she didn't know anybody in town, she didn't have no family, when in all reality, she was just a player and wanted to sit down and have dinner with me. Because not long after that, she introduced me to her grandson and the rest is history. We've killed big bucks, I've taken him, killed swordfish, lobsters, hogs, Osceola turkeys, and everything in between. Table. Shout out for French Lake, Indiana. Take a little bit of basil, put some basil in there. Doesn't take long to cook this. Take a little bit more of this grapefruit juice. All right, one more thing. So all of y'all saw us wearing those face buffs yesterday. OPA gear, the guy that makes all my shirts, just made me this line of awesome face buffs. Look at that. OPAgear.com, y'all check it out. They're about to try this food though. Go ahead, I want y'all's honest opinion. Alright. really, really good. Now don't lie to the camera. The pineapple's something different there. That's Is nice. it good? Oh yeah. Are you 100% telling the truth? Pinky promise. So here's the funny thing, you guys. Everybody down south said they were gonna taste disgusting. They were nasty. They're gonna taste horrible. All they do is eat grass on the bottom. They're gonna be gross. They didn't have me cooking for them. Yeah, y'all see that? Now, I wasn't 100% confident, so I always bring some people that'll try some stuff, and you just saw deer meat for dinner. Give me the camera. Okay, your turn, dude. Deer meat for dinner just cooked an amazing meal out of a fish. Oh, I gotta try it? Yep, yeah, you gotta try Why it. Why do I gotta try it? I'm the one who filmed everything. Did you like it for real? I loved it. If she likes it, you know it's good. Yeah, but ever since that Paco video I did with- Just Justin try Hall, it. It's horrible. That, literally, that's as good as any piece of fish you'll put in your mouth. And I would guarantee you I would gag if I didn't like that. Like, Robert, you need to try it or you'd be disappointed. 
I'm trying to, that tastes like lionfish. It's got the same texture, the same flavor. Might not be good for the species of fish in Miami now that actually a real cook cooked it and it tasted good, but that is good. Could you taste any of the grapefruit in there? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I never oh eat God. things twice on camera. Mm. It's got the same texture as the lionfish. Well, good deal. And tastes literally just as good. There's not one bit of freshwater taste in that. There's not any fishy. So, here's the scoop. It comes down to icing your fish right, filleting your fish yeah. right, and then cooking your fish right. That's proof in the pudding, y'all. Check out the Blue Gate Buffs. We'll see ya.